We've been open what since Christmas time and uh, made a profit and it's uh, it's, been, it's been good fun. It's, it's a little bit different to your normal shop and that's doing well. So well that Watford's Richard Lee and his business partner Darren Deridey took their idea for more cap shops to the television series Dragon's Den in the hope of persuading one of the business dragons to invest in their idea. Today we're asking for £150,000 worth of investment for 20% equity in our company. Dr Cap is a new concept in Britain, concentrating on supplying headwear in the UK retail marketplace. You've heard of Suits You and Tyrac, now we bring you Dr Cap. To be honest, I think we went on more for a laugh than, <laughs> than anything. We, uh, originally we applied, we had this shop and we, we thought it'd be, uh, you know, we watched the programme, we enjoy the programme, we thought it'd be, be good to apply. Um, and as we kind of got further along and got through auditions, we realised we, we had a chance of getting on this show. What were you doing before you got into the Cap business? I play football <coughs> professionally. Well, how do you man the carts and the shops then when you're meant to be playing football? Well, this is where my main man here, he's the, you know, he's... he's I'm the driving force. He's the driving force. It's, it's, all decisions are mutual, obviously. After a lengthy pitch, it was clear they still had some convincing to do. My gut feel says you are going to need a lot more than £150,000 to get those stores up and running and covering yourselves. Okay. And so I am out. But then one of the Dragons was prepared to back them, although only on his terms. I'll invest £150,000 for 50% 50 of your company. Do you mind if we...? Yep. We went away and said, can you believe we're on TV and we've just been offered 150 grand? <laughs> <laughs> I think we did, yeah. Uh, uh, and then we said, uh, no, actually, yeah, we'll take it. We'll go to whatever he wants. Yeah. Well done, lads. Well done. Well done. Well done. Lee hasn't had much time to focus on the Caps. After last season as Blackburn's third choice keeper, this season he's been called into league action twice. I never see my hat no more. Football will always be, uh, be, be everything to me. And this is, it's great to come here for on a, you know, on a day off every now and then. And, Sort of, uh, sort of hang out with my mates and just enjoy it, really. We don't take it too seriously. It doesn't ever get in the way of my football, which is, is the most important thing. Are you kitting out the Watford players? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. No, they all, they all wear the caps. Um, I mean, Jordan Stewart, Lloyd Doyley, um, Marlon King. There's a few of them that, that, are, uh, that are customers of mine, so it's, uh, no, they, they love it. Dr Cap's young customers know what they're looking for. But what about our ageing panel of pundits? These fashion victims in the studio really could do with some help on the latest look. You've got this cap. Um, this will be ideal for your kind of fancy Dan. Someone who's probably a bit scared to put his foot in. Um, Latisse. OK, then you've got this cap. This will be ideal for those cold winter nights. Or just if you wanted to hide your ears, maybe. Really? This cap with its high peak is ideal for the smaller man. Stelling? 